Hey guys, I'm Matty Miller with ERA Real Estate and today we're here to talk about listing your home and what you actually get with ERA Heaven a Realty and me as your listing agent. So we're going to talk about a few things and the first thing we're going to talk about is timing. Okay, timing is obviously when are you looking to sell your home and why. Okay, so those things kind of go together. So what's making you sell and how soon are you looking to make that move? The last one we want to talk about is obviously what's important. For some people, what's important when they sell their home might be, I want to get the most money for my home. For other people, it might be, I need somebody to work with me on my moving date, so that's convenient for you. So there's a bunch of different needs and we need to figure those out. Once we determine all those factors, we're next going to go into the challenges, obviously, that are with the home. Uh, we're going to recommend comparable sales. We're going to really do a deep dive on what your home's worth. You know, if you've done upgrades to the home, does that help your value? Okay, um, what are your favorite features about it? Because your favorite features are probably going to be somebody else's favorite features as well. So we're always going to pick out three main selling points. You know, if it's a beach property, we're going to highlight that. If you're close to shopping and dining, we're going to highlight that. If it's a country property and it's out in the middle of nowhere, guess what? In 2020, people think that's pretty cool too. So we're going to obviously pick all those things out and then we're going to move from there. Well, I don't like talking about myself that much. I do want to point out a few things that myself and our company has done um, in the recent years for our clients. So um, I actually started real estate in 2012. So I've been in the game for about nine years. Um, I actually also do property management here at ERA as well. So we, we are a full service management company um, as well as sales that we do. Um, also, the one thing we want to talk about too is we are National Association of Realtor members here, as well as National Association of Residential Properties as property managers as well. A couple of statistics that I really want to point out. Uh, and the biggest one is 2020 was our best year here at ERA having a realty. Um, we did over $37 million in sales and helped over 245 families purchase and, and list homes. So we've done quite a bit of work in 2020. We look forward to 2021 and beyond uh, to keep helping those clients. Obviously, with those numbers that I just told you about, we didn't do all that by ourselves. We have a, a great team of lenders, inspectors, photographers, transaction coordinators, admin assistants, uh, marketing companies that help us all give you guys the best service that we can. So you obviously can look at our team. There's a bunch of real estate experience on there, and they're going to make sure that they do the best job for you throughout the process. If you're looking for satisfied customers, the one thing you can do is go to Google or Facebook. We have over 100 five-star reviews on, one, on those platforms combined. Um, also, if you are looking for a reference of somebody we've actually worked with in the past, I would be glad to give you a reference to actually give you somebody in real life that can tell you how we help them uh, achieve what their family wanted to. So one of the things that I really want to talk about and I want to understand or make you understand the difference between a transaction brokerage and a single agency. Uh, both are different types of representations that um, agents can actually pick. Um, here at ERA Heaven and Realty, we pretty much operate under the single agency status uh, for the most part. So um, what is the difference? So I'll explain that to you. Transaction brokerages, some people believe that just because they're working with another agent that um, they have to be honest with them. They have to be fully, they have to fully disclose everything and they're working directly for you. And that's just simply not true. The difference between these two situations is the transaction brokerage and the single agency. There's four things that are missing from the transaction brokerage to the single agency. That's loyalty, confidence, obedience, and keyword full disclosure. Okay. So in layman's terms, what that means is when we're working as a single agent um, and anything comes up with a situation on the deal, we are going to let you know everything about that deal that we absolutely can so you can make the best decision for your situation. That doesn't always happen in the transaction brokerage because they're there to put the deal together for you. They're not necessarily representing you wholly in that situation. So if you have any questions about that, let me know. I'd be glad to explain it in further detail. Um, but we typically prefer a single agency and that's the way we're going to represent most of our clients. So real quickly, I just want to point out a few numbers that our office generated over this past uh, few months. Uh, number one, our average sale price of transactions in our office was $620,000, uh, $620,500 to be exact. Um, 
the biggest number that I want to point out is our list to sale price. So 96%. In other words, if you listed your house at $300,000 or $600,000, we are getting 96% of that list price back to you. That is better than the average. I believe the average in the National Association of Realtors is about 93%. So we're doing better than the average there. Um, luckily, our marketing with our, with our system and our marketing you know, 21 days on the active market is a really, really good number. Um, so that means we're getting you a contract to close um, in about 40 days. So those are great numbers. And if you're looking for the best service, our numbers speak for themselves. One thing I want to highlight is while ERA Heaven and Realty is locally owned and operated, we are part of a franchise system, um, and ERA provides us a lot of information um, and tools to make sure we get the best value for your home. Um, so we're going to go through really quickly the marketing plan that we actually put in place. The ERA allows us to, you know, basically get the best service for you guys. So um, while some agents only just put a yard and you know put a sign in the yard. Um, you know, we're going to go through everything with you. We're going to go through the preparation. Uh, we're going to, you know, go through staging if we need to do staging. Uh, we're going to do professional photography and video on every property. Uh, we're going to talk about seller incentives and if that bears the market, you know, we'll talk about seller incentives as far as going through, you know, what, how to attract a seller to your property. Um, the other thing we're going to do is we're going to handle all the showings. We're going to do circle prospecting of the neighborhoods as well. Um, we're also going to do open houses. Again, that's if a market bears for it. Um, you know, broker open houses, virtual open houses, obviously with 2020, we've seen some things change around with the virtual stuff. Um, so that's been new. We are part of ERA global, uh, global, global referral network. And what that is, is basically we have offices in I believe 68 countries around the world. So if we have anybody relocating to ER, uh, to the Jacksonville area, um, we would obviously get a first stab at that buyer. Um, the other thing we have, we, we like to use a lot of technology. Um, so we have a text ERA, we have ERA.com. Obviously everybody has a website, it's not special. But the text ERA stuff, you see the little signs out there that say text about this home. Um, the next thing, we're going to give you an individual property website for your property um, on most of those listings if you sign up for that package. Um, listing detail page, obviously I can go through all the stuff, but you get the point. There's a whole bunch of stuff out there that's going to help you sell your home. Um, along with the social media stuff, you know, there's email blasts, social boosting, um, you have all kinds of brochures, flyers, all that stuff is done through our system and we've had great success doing it. So, so obviously all these things combined are going to give you the best chance to sell your home and that's why we do it. We do it for you. And real quickly, I just wanted to talk about attracting buyers um, in a new world where the internet is pretty much everything that matters as far as real estate. So while some people may just put it on the MLS and say, hope that buyers come, and here's the deal. Buyers are going to come, but are they quality? We have to find quality buyers, and if we also find the buyer for you, we can guarantee if they're quality as well. So that's one of the reasons why we use all these social media outlets um, to go ahead and bring buyers to you sometimes as opposed to focus on the MLS. So I think the biggest thing that we have to figure out is determining your market position. So what that means is obviously we're going to talk about comps, age of your home, market conditions, economic conditions, what's going on in the world, you know, size, condition, location, upgrades, livable space, outdoor space, indoor space. We're going to talk about all those things and we're going to go try to find comparables to put together the exact price that we think obviously your home can sell for. The more it sells for, the more money we make technically. So we're definitely going to make sure that we price it right and we go from there. So once we've actually marketed your home, put it on the market, attracted buyers, we had a bunch of offers to sift through, you know, what's that next step obviously? We've done the marketing, we've done all that stuff to get it to market. Now we have offers to pick from. We pick the best offer that suits your needs the best. And then we go here, we go to negotiation and closing. A lot of people think that as soon as we get an offer, you know, our job's over. Well, that's just simply not true. Um, one of the things that we always have to do is negotiating starts when the offer gets accepted. We have inspections to go through, which we're gonna facilitate for you. We also have to coordinate closing times. We gotta deal with title companies, make sure all the numbers get matched up with the lenders. So there's a lot of moving parts that go into the closing from the time that you actually get the offer accepted and actually do your closing, which is the celebration day, and that's what we're all here for.
So one of the other things at ERA that we pride ourselves on is our, commit, our commitment to service, okay? We actually have a real agreement that is a commitment to service for you so you know exactly what to expect throughout the process. And I urge you, if you are curious about selling your home and seeing what we offer and seeing what we actually will do through the process, shoot me an email. It's maddie at maddiesells.com and I'll send this agreement over to you. And if you take a look at it and you have any questions, let me know. We'd be glad to help. So the other one thing we want to talk about when we're setting the price for your home is not only are we going to look at you know the comparable sales that we just talked about in general, but we're also going to pull in recently sold homes, withdrawn. We're going to take a look at you know if there was a house that was withdrawn, why was it withdrawn? Um, we're going to find out, make a call for you, and figure out what the scoop is on that house. Um, you know we're going to look at the active sales on the market as well, not just the ones that are sold, and we're going to look at the under contract sales as well. So we're going to pull all those all that information together. So we can obviously set the listing price as good as we possibly can for you. One of the other things at ERA that we do is we have plans available for sellers. Um, and there's a lot of positive things about this. One of them is we have an ERA seller security plan to where if you list your home with us and we don't sell it within a specified amount of time and or for the price that we agreed upon, we will buy it from you. If you want more details on that, please let me know. Um, the other one is the home concierge. Um, so what that is, is basically, it's kind of a list of contractors that can actually help you fix up your property um, if you have something to do before you want to sell it or if you're moving into your new property. Um, we're going to give you some contractors that are qualified and have been vetted by ERA. They can help you get what you need done in your house. Uh, so pretty simple there. Uh, the last one is ERA moves. Um, there is certain partners that we have uh, that will help you and you can get some discounts from that throughout the moving process. So that's obviously a big help and that's just a few of the plans we have at ERA for you. So one of the other things I want to talk about is speed to lead. Um, we use that term a lot in our industry and what exactly does that mean? And one thing I want to point out to you is about 70% of the agents uh, that work in our area are not what I would consider full time. Um, they may have some other job and maybe a secondary source of income for them. Um, we here at ERA are full time. That's all we do. Um, so we are real estate professionals. So I want to point that out. So when someone does contact us about your listing, um, how quickly are we getting back to them? Uh, well, I can promise you that that's going to be pretty much instantly um, because we have the systems and people set up in place to do that. So very, very important to make sure you know the kind of agent you're working with um, and how quickly their response time is to the market.